Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna attempt the Kim Kardashian makeup look. So I will start by cleansing my face with a toner. It's crucial for me to ensure my face is thoroughly clean before applying makeup. Now I'm gonna apply moisturizer to hydrate my skin. It's important to note that her skin is glowing. So let's start with a good moisturizer, right? <laughs> I'm going to apply this foundation from She Glam. It offers medium to high coverage and my shade is wheat in this foundation, okay, by the way. <laughs> so I'm applying with a brush because it's my favorite uh, tool to apply foundation. So I'm applying all over my face, no secrets. For contouring, I'm gonna be using this stick contour from She Glam as well. I've noticed that her makeup feature is a subtle contour, so I apply it lightly in a few areas on my face such as uh, around my forehead, a little on my jawline and nose. I blend this product with a brush as well. For me, <laughs> brushes are my favorites. Uh, to blend the product to apply foundation anyway I blend on my nose with the same brush, okay, no secrets. For highlighting, I notice I set an application of light concealer under her eyes and or her chin as well, using a concealer that isn't too light. So I apply it in the same areas under my eyes. as well as a little bit between my eyebrows because for me <laughs> this makes a big difference on my makeup when I highlight between my eyebrows but anyway and I blend with a sponge I, I can I could blend this with a brush, no problem, but uh, I decided to use uh, my sponge. I noticed there's a subtle touch of blush in her makeup look. Perhaps she didn't apply much, but I'll add a bit to my cheeks. I just can't do without blush in my makeup routine, sorry. <laughs> so just a little bit. And I'm blending uh, towards my contour. 
I also didn't notice any highlighter in her makeup look, so I'll skip straight to powder, okay? Since her skin is already glowing, I only apply a small amount of powder, focusing especially under my eyes. And moving on to the eyes, I'm applying a concealer to even out my eyelids and prepare for the next eyeshadows. So first I apply uh, the concealer with a brush, a flat brush, and then I spread this concealer with a sponge, okay? I'm gonna start with the shade and blend it around my crease and to be honest it took me a while to find a picture where her eyes were closed so I couldn't see the shades on her eyelids but I found out and anyway I'm doing so just around my crease first And then I also apply in, on my outer corner and I take this shade uh, towards my temple. Okay, so very simple. For the second shade I darken brow, I'm applying it to my outer corner and blend the edges until the middle of my crease, you know. So first on my outer corner and then I take uh, blending the shade until the middle of my crease. And I also take this shade towards my temple because it's apparently that her makeup look is elongated. I'm going back with the previous shade and the previous brush just to give a finish. You know, this is optional. But I feel like I need to go back with the previous uh, shade to create a better gradient. And now uh, I'm going to apply this lighter shade on my eyelid. It's simple, no secrets here, just a light shade like beige or even a white. I'm gonna apply eyeliner on my eyelid using a gel eyeliner. Her eyeliner is thick, which I don't like so much, <laughs> but anyway, I draw the line until the outer corner. Okay, very simple.
Before it dries, I blend the end with a small brush. It's just for me disappear with the end of the eyeliner. I also apply the same gel eyeliner on my waterline and I beat on the outer edge. You can use um, a pencil, a black pencil as well. But I prefer uh, the eyeliner. First, I blend with a small brush. I'm not using eyeshadow right now with my brush clean. And with the darker brow shade, I blend it along my lower lash line where I apply it the eyeliner. It's just to seal uh, that eyeliner. And then with a fluffy brush, I apply it to the outer corner to blend the eyeliner. You never blend black with black. It's always with a darkened brow. This way I can create a good gradient between the shades. As you guys can see, I don't feel like I need to apply something on my eyebrows. <laughs> So move it on to the mascara. And for mascara, just a little bit because I'll be applying lashes. Uh, however, her lower lashes are very curved. So it takes me a long time to apply mascara there. I'm applying lashes. Um, her lashes are very big, like a broom. <laughs> uh, but I didn't have here. And for my lips, I apply a um, dark brow shade to contour them first. I'm applying a brown pencil, but could see a uh, brow concealer. Why not? <laughs> I'm blending uh, the edges, especially the center of my lips. So I'm blending this contour first. And then I apply a lighter shade to the center of my lips to blend it and create a gradient. So I'm mixing uh, the lighter shade with the darker shade. I notice uh, her necklace is similar <laughs> to mine, so I decided to put on.
and that's it guys tell me in the comments what do you think and what inspiration you'd like to see next make sure to subscribe to the channel i'll have two videos on the screen if you want to watch more okay so that's all bye bye